Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and let me introduce you to the Russian Sapper Knife. That's right guys, a lot of you guys guessed correctly. And I'm going to read you that Wikipedia definition or, or the information about this knife. Only this time I'm not going to leave out the word sapper, okay? A sapper, also called pioneer or combat engineer, is a combatant or soldier who performs a variety of military engineering duties such as breaching fortifications, that might involve uh, tunneling like a rat, like uh, Stuart left a clue in the comments. He said rats because he couldn't guess. I wonder if he meant tunnel rat. Hmm. Fortifications, demolitions, bridge building, laying or clearing minefields, preparing field defenses, as well as working on road and airfield construction and repair. They are also trained to serve as military infantry personnel in defensive and offensive operations. A sapper's duties are devoted to tasks involving facilitating movement, defense, and survival of allied forces and impeding those of enemies. The term sapper is used in the British Army and Commonwealth nations, the Polish Army, and the U.S. military. The word sapper comes from the French word sapeur, itself being derived from the verb saper, to undermine, to dig under a wall or building to cause collapse. My friends, that is what a sapper is, and this is a sapper knife. It comes from Russia. My best guess is that this bad boy is from the 1980s, and it is surplus. Where did I get it? I got it on eBay uh, from a seller in Belarus. As you may know, uh, Belarus is a breakaway republic. Back from when the USSR, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, was still in full effect. And back in the USSR, uh, I'm sure they probably have a lot of this stuff just hanging around. And I guess a seller from Belarus started selling a whole bunch of them on eBay. Hmm, I think I hear my cat meowing. Yes, Thomas is meowing. Well, Thomas, we'll feed you in a little bit. And so, actually, you already ate, Thomas. You want to eat again? Be right... What? Where are you? Oh, no, it wasn't Thomas. It was Aki. Well, we'll play with that later. They're brother and sister. It's hard to tell them apart. All right. So uh, this knife is from the 1980s. Best guess. I don't know what year it's from, but it's from the 1980s. And uh, it's a really pretty fundamentally simple knife. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of flash. It's not shiny. It's not the kind of thing that that uh, is going to win a beauty contest. It's a, it's a function uh, more than uh, beauty that's uh, what's important with this knife. Uh, it's kind of like me, you know, uh, function over beauty. You know, it's going to get the job done. It's tough. If you drop it, it might get nicked. You know what? You might not even be able to tell the difference because this thing is just built like a tank. Um, I waited in the previous video. Uh, the construction of this looks a lot like... Uh, uh, a military knife uh, with, uh, with uh, I can't think of the makers right now, but like the one Stuart gave me, I think it might have been a Camillus. It's a military knife. Um, you know, it looks a lot like those military scout knives with the bail. And by the way, this bail is no joke. It is a really strong bail. You can tell if you hang this off of your backpack uh, for hiking or somewhere, it is not going to come off. This thing is built like a tank. And yes, I did bust my nail with this one right here. Uh, opening up, Stuart was right. He said, somebody's going to break a nail in that email. He was absolutely 100% right. I broke my thumbnail trying to pull this thing open. All right, guys. So this has been another quickie. I just wanted to go ahead and... Uh, Finish up this bad boy and just confirm that a lot of you guys had the correct suspicion. Yes, this is a Russian sapper knife. I thought for sure the Russian music I put at the beginning of the video, uh, the title of the song was called From Russia With Love. I thought for sure that was totally going to give it away. All right, guys, this has been another episode of The Knife Detector. God bless you, my friends. I hope you all are doing well. This has been another Knife Detector quickie. Stay tuned for more videos. Remember, my videos come out Mondays in the a.m. and Fridays in the a.m. I've got about eh, six, seven, eight more videos on 1980s knives and older. So stay tuned, guys.